Welcome to our walkthrough of bill pay from right inside QuickBooks Online. Let's jump right in. I'll begin by going to my pay bill section, which shows me all the outstanding bills that I have to pay. I'll go ahead and select the bill that I want to make a payment for. With the bill open, I'll choose to pay bill online. This button takes me to the new bill pay experience. Briefly explained on this landing page, which you'll see the first time you use the bill pay service. But first, just like any other app, we'll connect our app to QuickBooks Online. Here in this next screen, I choose how I'd like to pay. I have three options, bank account, credit card, and debit card. The first option, bank account, is connected using a username and password, or you can connect your account using a manual micro deposit process. In this payment method, payments are deducted within one to three business days and it's completely free. The second option, credit card, enables me to connect my credit card and charge my bill payments to credit and extend my float and gain rewards. These payments are processed the following business day. Here, there's a 2.9% fee that applies. Thirdly, I can add a debit card to pay for free and have the payment deducted the following business day. To demonstrate, I'll select debit card. Now I'll enter my card details, followed by my own cardholder details, and I'll save. Once I've added my payment method, I'll just confirm the selection here. Now I choose how I'd like my vendor to receive the payment. I have two options, a bank transfer or a paper check in the mail. The bank transfer will arrive one to two business days after being deducted with absolutely no additional fees. And the paper check arrives in five to seven business days also with no additional fees. I'll go ahead with the bank transfer. Since I've chosen to have my payment delivered to my vendor's bank, I'll enter their routing number and account details. BillPay currently only supports ACH transfers and not wire transfers. If I'd have selected for my payment to be delivered by paper check, I'd now enter their mailing address instead. Once I've added my vendor's details, they'll be saved for the future so I can pay them again without re-entering any information. In this next screen, I'll choose when I'd like the payment to go out. I can leave it on the default, which is set to today, or I can change it to any time in the future. I'll go ahead and select Monday next week and take a look down here where I'm told when my payment will arrive. In this case, on the very next business day, since I've chosen to pay with the debit card and have it delivered as a bank deposit. Next, I can leave a note for my vendor. I'll just write an invoice number here so it arrives along with my payment. Now I'm at this final review screen where I can review my payments details and edit any of them by clicking on the pencil next to each field. It all looks good, so I'll confirm and save the payment. And that's it. My payment has been saved and scheduled. Now I can even enter my vendor's email so that they receive an email letting them know when they can expect a payment. Or I could just close this if I'd rather not. Now that I'm finished, I can close to save the payment. To see the status of any bill payment at any time, I can easily access them from the expenses section accessible from the left-hand menu. Here you can select and view the details and status of any payment. You can even edit or cancel any of the payments. And if you have any questions, you can always click on this Need Help prompt in the top menu where you can find a list of frequently asked questions and even have the option to chat directly with our team. And that's really it. Paying vendors through QuickBooks with BillPay really is that quick and easy. And I really hope that I've showed you that here today. Thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.